I'd like to explain the, the, some method to detect, discover the extrasolar planet. The first method, actually the, this is the first successful method to discover the first extrasolar planet, 51 peg, is a radial velocity survey. So in this case, it, we just make a really simple figures. Actually, the stars, central stars, has a planet. And the planet, this is extrasolar planet. These two object is rotating around the center of gravity. Center of mass. So if the star planet is moving to this position, star is moving to the new positions here. And if the planet is rotating in this new positions, star is coming to this position. So actually the star and the planet is moving around the center of mass. In this case, if the planet is moving away from us, then star is moving toward us. Or if the star is moving away from us, so this is our eyes observations. Then planet is moving toward us. Then wave length of the stars we could detect the wave light from the stars. Wave lengths actually star emit the light in the other directions. But sometimes we could detect the light from the stars. The wave length of the stars becomes shorter when the star is moving toward us. So lambda is wavelength. becomes shorter, decreasing. So in this case, the we, we, uh, if the star is moving away from us, wavelengths become lambda is becomes longer. So even though that we cannot detect the light directly from a planet, we are able to find the existence of a planet through the Doppler effect. So we call it this is Doppler effect of the light. So first extrasolar planet around 51 peg was discovered using the this Doppler effect. We call it a radial velocity survey, this method. Okay. Discovery of the first extrasolar planet induced many criticisms because the radial velocity search of extrasolar planet is an uh, indirect method. Actually, we cannot detect the light from the uh, direct light from a planet. So sometimes we call this is indirect method. It was claimed that pulsation of a star is also able to make a Doppler effect of the light even when the star does not have any planet. Sometimes the uh, surface of the planet is making oscillational motions. Sometimes surface of the star is becomes bigger and smaller. This type of oscillation also makes the change of the wavelength of the light from the uh, stars. So some uh, scientists claim maybe this is the reason for the Doppler effect we observed. Then people try to find a, uh, another indirect method to apply to discover the extrasolar planet. So this is that we are going to study the another method, transit method. If the star has a planet, when the star planet is rotating around the stars, 
the planet is a temperature of the planet is much much lower than the temperature of the surface temperature of a stars so looks like a black the color of the planet looks like a black compared with the color of the central stars if the star planet is moving moving uh, to the uh, uh, actually the in front of the stars actually sometimes the, some of the light would be blocked by the planet so if we draw the times and brightness of our sent stars if the planet is rotating in these positions brightness of the star is maximum 100% and if the planet is moving in this region some of the uh, surface of the star is blocked start blocked and the brightness of the star is going to decreasing actually brightness becomes a little bit weaker when the star uh, planet is moving to these positions the brightness is going to return when the, when the bright uh, planet is passed through the surface of the stars brightness is return to the original brightness of the hundred percent and go to the this region so we could find uh, this type of the uh, change of the brightness then we'd like to find out the decrease of the brightness when the stars actually the uh, central star is the size of the sun and the si uh, extra solar planet with a Jupiter mass and the radius of the sun is about 700,000 kilometers and the radius of Jupiter is 70,000 kilometers so the difference of the radius is a 10 times difference but in the case of the uh, in this situation we should consider the areas area of the surface area of the sun over the surface area of the Jupiter because uh, how much surface was covered by the planet we should consider the areas this is pi r star squares over pi r jupiter squares so this becomes r suns and the r sub jupiter squares so this becomes 100 so ratios of the areas of the sun to the area of Jupiter is 100. When the Jupiter pass just in front of the sun, so if the Jupiter is passing in front of the sun, this is in front of the sun, actually the brightness, brightness is decreasing just one percent it becomes a 99 percent the brightness of the sun decreases one percent and then this is the answer to these questions